as it <laughs> as it travels. <laughs> It'd do like 40% or something. But Zamba, Tilde, Grand Finals. It does not get more classic than this, it seems. Or Winner's, winners finals. finals. Thank you. <laughs> My bad. Probably Grands, too. <laughs> we will see. Zamba already getting something started. Tilde getting started with some combos of his own. And this, I feel like, it's almost similar to Rob and Falco in that they both just need one time touching you to take the stock. And right there, Zamba just kept Tilde on the left side of the stage and never let him get back. Only 60%. down with an aggressive back air option. Now to make his way back on the center stage. Getting an up tilt once again, putting Tilda in a bad situation. Nice air dodge into the drag down. Ooh. Not gonna be it yet. Rob is a chunky boy. Yeah, but it was so interesting. Tilda was on feet on the ground and Zamba at the top, top, top of town city started a nair and Falco probably the only character who can catch that nair from the floor so uh, Zamba has to adjust to playing Falco because you're going to be able to do things that or you're not going to be able to do things you can do against pretty much every other character against someone with this high of a jump. Mm -hmm. Yeah I think we've been seeing a lot uh, is you know Zamba going for the uh, the high recoveries and Yep. Certainly, Falco is one of the characters who can deal with that. Wow. Ho, ho. That was so clean. Just knew exactly where Zamba was going to roll. And just beautiful stuff. Zamba raising the roof there. Four up tilts. And it's going to be netting him the stock. Yeah, that was the, the unfortunate 50 50 loss from DI and Rob's up air. Tilde going to die insanely early. I think it went like 105 post hit. And that almost was it. Yeah, especially with uh, TNC Blast Zones, but TNC actually going to be giving Tilda another lease at life with the platforms, especially right there, giving him a uh, recovery mix-up. I, I love the uh, the wave land on it. Yeah, and right there, Fal if that was any character but Falco, that up air probably would have catched the jump, but Falco would have to go so high. And beautiful snap to ledge. Mm -hmm. Nice Phantasm fighting his way out. Ooh, this is... Could have been scary. Ooh, Ooh, nice stuff from Zamba. Totally empty landing. Just fell and grabbed. And I think Tilda was expecting Zamba to press something. And totally got mixed up right there. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice spacing from Tilda. Uh, just getting under that hit of the neutral air. Oh, that was... That was scary. And now this is so close right here. I like the idea from Tilda. Uh, a snipe with the gyro as Zamba was that high. It very well could have done it. And honestly, even though Tilda you know, is down 50%, this is probably a pretty good range for Falco to get kill confirms on Rob, somehow managing to shield in time from that drag down. I wonder if that was an like execution error from Tilda. Dying to the laser. You don't see that too often from mm -hmm. that close to the stage. Yeah, no, and I mean, uh, that was great in that previous interaction. Zamba angled his shield down to make sure that the down tilt would not connect after the drag down. Really? Wow. That's great stuff from Zamba. Just barely off the TNC blast zones. Oh, yeah, right here. Dies so early. Right, running it right back to TNC. Obviously a great Falco stage, so no complaints for Tilda on that. Yeah, it benefits them both so much. They both can kill so early off the sides, so it, it's just really solid, and both can use the platforms really well. That's laser extension by Tilda. Oof. Tilda going to the corners of the blast zones for these chases. And it's like we talked about before, Falco is one of those characters that can deal with Rob's high recovery. Rob high recovery, typically fairly difficult to deal with uh, just because he has access to so many options during it. 
Gonna be tough to punish that if Rob fades off stage. Samba able to make it back. Up tilt to bear, the classic. And yeah, you gotta just go so high. So it's not matter. What a great read on where Zamba was gonna drift from Tilde. Yeah, no, uh, I really like the idea from Zamba to use those back airs not only to change his spacing, but to, you know, challenge Tilde, make him think twice about uh, trying to catch those high recoveries. Especially because he was, you know, throwing them in the direction that Tilde was coming from. But that could have been a kill if Tilde committed to like reading on that platform tech, but. Zamba still just has not gotten a hit. I don't know if it's been this whole stock or in quite some time oh. in a footstool. She's barely making him back. Uh, had about a half tank of gas left. What a great nice. call out. You know, that's, that I feel like shows how much these players have played each other, getting an mm -hmm. upper like that. I feel like. You just don't go for such hard reads against like someone you've never played, but Zamba knows Tilde's recovery patterns probably better than anyone. Mm -hmm. And I mean, we've talked about it on on stream before. Is uh, Tilde's recovery patterns are he has so many tricks up his sleeve. So the fact that Zamba is able to you know get a stock off Tilde's recovery really is a testament to that. And right here, you know, never mind. <laughs> I'm gonna say. <laughs> It's important that Tilde takes the stock soon because Rob does have the time ability to Falco Falco. You can kill Falco really often very little. So it was really important that Tilde did get that jump fair because Rob at that high percent could have just killed you. The reflector was still active even after the hitbox. Yeah, it's it's kind of a weird move. Wow, going so deep right there. Clean Great stuff. down air. And Tilde with a Pretty convincing two stock. Yeah, and what a game where uh, it seems like Falco edge guards Rob more than uh, mm -hmm. Rob edge guards Falco. Tilde just so good at chasing you down off stage. You know, you like he will float and stay in that range, knowing you're gonna air dodge because you're terrified of like Falco's long lasting fare, and just punishes it so well. Mm -hmm. All right, and let us see where our game three will be taking us right back once again. This time, Zamba using those platforms to try and get himself some space uh, and positioning, but Tilda is ready for it, getting a quick 48%. Okay, nice get up attack. Oh, have that jump read just a little bit off, and that would have honestly been the stock. Both characters just kind of swinging their starters. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, and we saw in in the last game, Zamba did you know multiple back airs, but that time chose to do the one back air and then drift the other way. Here we go. Up smash can be taking Tilde's first stock in this game three. Yeah, that landing up smash is really good from Zamba. I will say, if I say one of like a habit of Tilde. Tends to just jump to start everything, you know, to start every neutral interaction, even if it's just like a short hop with fair. He loves to get everything started with a jump. So if you do something like that, landing up smash, it's really likely you can call out Tilde before he even gets anything going. We saw Zamba try to drift back again after the two back airs, but Tilde was ready for it. Falco's horizontal coverage is, you know, not a obviously not as good as vertical coverage, but still great. Tilda going for an anti-air up smash, maybe trying to catch that neutral air, but Zamba with the delay of the approach. Now it is kind of on Zamba right now to get some momentum going. Maybe looking for some Z-drop combos. Yeah, and I know Zamba was saying he wants, he's, he's at a bit of a tournament win streak right now, and he wants to keep it up. So I think, you know, even though this is just another weekly, SmashCon's coming up and Zamba's just been playing well, and I think he wants to win this, you know, pretty well, pretty badly, you know. I, I think it, it's not super casual for him. Mm -hmm. So let's see if he can find it to bring him back. You know, right now we're seeing Tilda having something to say about that. Ooh, nice. catching that. Catching it again, but really quick up beat. There we go. Catching the low invincibility frames uh, with such high percent. All 
All right, getting Tilda off stage. This oh. is this could be bad for Falco. Good drift mix up from Tilde right there. He needed that. Otherwise, I could see Zamba just taking a stock with the momentum he had. And now it's Tilde with the momentum. Oh, that could have been hit. Yeah, great air dodge from Zamba. But 75 now, trying to get back on stage. Great follow on the DI by Tilde. Frame one reflector. Even yeah. Th even that deep, uh, Tilda's still able to get it back. Definitely one of like, the best reflectors in the game when it comes to just being able to throw it out with next no consequences. And it becomes so strong in these zoner matchups. Ooh. Ooh. Samba tried to catch the landing with the, the dash attack, but Tilda was ready for it with the up smash. Yeah, and, and that's like... So uh, um, that's I feel like a bit of a what was I gonna say? Sorry. Um, I think that's just a bit of desperation coming out from Zamba in that dash attack. I feel like if it was like a calmer situation, he would not go for that because I think it's pretty clear to see from that neutral air dodge on laser that um, Tilde was gonna have time to shield. But I think when you're in when you're at that deficit, you're like I want to get this really nice string going. You know, I want to make this comeback, and so I think opted for a, too aggressive of an option with the hopes of being able to like make a nice string.